Hey, I'm Sean Drulinger, designer of Point Blank and several other games for Lock and Load Publishing. And you're watching No Enemies Here, Wargaming News. Crosshairs. What you get with this game are 220 cards, 16 full color mounted tag boards, two full color counter sheets, rule book, scenario book, and eight player cards. Complexity is medium low, solitaire suitability is sky high. Richard Borg's Command and Colors Napoleonics. This is the fourth printing of Richard Borg's Napoleonics. Complexity is medium, solitaire suitability is low. The second printing of Joel Toppin's Navajo Wars, a history of the American Southwest, 1598 to 1864. What you get with this game are a 22 by 33 inch map, one and a half counter sheets, 80 cards and 20 wooden cubes, two player eight cards, a full color rule book and playbook, and a bag to draw cubes from, plus three six sided dice. Plexity is medium, solitaire suitability is sky high. Academy Games and Storms of Steel 3rd Edition, a game designed by Uwe Eicher, published by, obviously, Academy Games. Look at the map. Look at the detail of the map. Look at it! Awakening the Bear, 3rd Edition, available now. Stones of Steel, 3rd edition, available now. Devin, the OG, the original Grognard, is traveling on railroad through Colorado in a game called... Silverton. Happy trails, OG. Has the OG crossed the line never to return? He has a video out called, and please brace yourselves, a look at some of my top favorite non-war game games. OG, please come back. The discriminating gamer Cody is taking a look at Command and Colors Ancients. Published by GMT, designed by Richard Borg. Gimpe, the Gimpe Gamer, plays Talon 1000 Solitaire Part 1, a game designed by Jim Crone, published by GMT. Oh, of Moe's Game Table is Unboxing Knights of Fire Battle for Budapest, a game designed by Brian Train and David Tersey, published by Mighty Boards. Mo also unboxes Hammerfall World War III Battles. Mo also takes a look at Jim Crone's game, a game published by GMT Space Empires Replicator, the expansion. Actually, it's to say Replicators. Eh, Replicators. GMT. You want to know what's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. Kevin, CEO and President for Life is chatting up, a quick chatting up, of Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere, War in Asia and the Pacific, 1939 to 1944. This is a game designed by Yasushi Nakaguro and published by Bonsai Games. The artist Matt White has a video out on his impressions on Waterloo 815 from Trafalgar Edition.
Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. The first game we will be reviewing on our website this week is Bundeswehr. Essentially, it's a micro game from SPI in the 1970s. What's unique about this is the only forces involved are British, German, and Russian. Uh, there's no American forces whatsoever. It's a Cold War uh, era game, kind of like a World War III game. And there's also an option of using nuclear weapons, and this is the first micro game that was uh, designed by a woman. I'm not sure if it's the first war game that was uh, created by a woman, but it's the first micro game. So anyhow, take a look at the review. I think you guys are going to like it. The first game we'll be doing a first look at on our YouTube channel is Deep Space Navigator. This is a unique uh, spaceship combat game. There's no counters. There's no combat results table. You just have a template and use colored pencils to keep track of where your spaceship is and you have a uh, uh, paper uh, kind of like a log sheet where you keep track of fuel and other sorts of stats and stuff. There's combat and everything. Very unique uh, space combat game. Hope to try it soon. The last game we will be doing a first look at on our YouTube channel is Deep Space D6 from Tony Go. It's from Tau Leader Games. Essentially it's a worker placement dice game where you have four different boards and each board uh, represents a different ship type and uh, your dice are crew members and they all have a different uh, function. It's kind of a unique dice game. It's uh, really cool. Hope to be uh, reviewing this soon and I hope to see you guys soon on our website and on our YouTube channel. Have a good evening. Something really strange happened. I got that nasty phone call. Dan Pancaldi? Are you wearing that stupid beep in Michigan t-shirt? What? Yeah, you take that beep in Michigan t-shirt off or I'll break your beep head! We all know it's Harold Buchanan and, you know, I, I, I changed t-shirts and I'm gonna listen to him because, you know, uh... <laughs> and, um, I have a twin brother. <clears throat> Who, uh, who I sent mushroom hunting, and um, I had a feeling. Check this out. Okay, so it's hunting season. So I'm mushroom hunting, and um, we have to protect ourselves, right? I mean, with this, and in our quest to find the ever magic mushroom, I mean the magical mushroom, all mushrooms or whatever. Um, so a few hunters took a shot at me, like a few shots. And as you can see, the tree there behind me, I had to duck a few times. So mushroom hunting is dangerous. Public service announcement, thank you. The hunters, they almost got me, but they'll never get me, I swear to God. <laughs> The man who creates fear in every sentence I speak. The phonetic police, Stigler, is doing two video tutorials. The first one being a video tutorial on gameplay for the great battles of the American Civil War series by GMT, obviously. Part one is efficiency, command, and activations. And part two being a playthrough tutorial of the great battles of the American Civil War series, combat, shock, and more. Alexander and Grant, the player's aid, are unboxing Command & Color Tricorn from Compass Games. And Alexander is unzipping the D-Day Folio series from Decision Games. AJ Toynbee's Hexes and Soldiers Conflict Simulation News, Views, and Reviews has a video out, and he uses such eloquent language, which is more showy telly stuffs. Thank you, AJ. And the Wargamer continues his instructional playthrough of Hurtgen, Hell's Forest. Combat Board Games is unboxing Fourth Reich. This is the Pyramid versus the Mutants for control of the world. 
written and designed by Howard Anderson and Dana Lombardi, published by Task Force Games. And Greg the M. Smith is giving you examples of his game Interceptor Ace Fighter, the combat examples. This is the game designed by, obviously, Greg Smith, published by Compass Game. Last Pop is on Recon Duty and he's checking out Swords and Sorcery by SPI, a game designed by Greg Kostikin. The artists are John Butterfield, Redden A. Simonson, and Tim Kirk, published by SPI. Rob Orn, the strong man of war games, takes a look at Herman Lutmans, one of the dream team designers. Crowbar, the Rangers at Point Zuck, June 6, 1944, a game published by Flying Pig Games. A game for gamers, made by gamers, by Flying Pig Games. Counterproductive Games is continuing his playthrough of Lock and Load Tactical Heroes of Normandy, designed by Jeff Lewis. And Charles Cab of the Charlotte Area Historical Gaming is playing Gettysburg by Mark Herman, the C3I edition. And the man famously known as Callendale, Enrico Viglino, is back with a kissing rant and checkpoint. Little Wars TV are reviewing the C3i Gettysburg game by Mark Herman. Rough Swordsman Wargamer is continuing part 5 of his Rabal campaign, a playthrough of DVG's Corsair Leader. Rough Swordsman Wargamer continues his mini playthrough of Crossing the Line, Aachen, 1944 from Führer Teutonicus. This is part 3. Ricardo Massini, the professor, is live at Gioco e Storia, a war game convention in Italy. Let's play history, and Jan Heinemann continues his Field of Glory Empires, number 49. Kinner and Hobbyist is unboxing Christopher Fasulo's design, Death Ride Salerno, 16th Panzer. A game published by Grognard Simulations, Inc. The man, the muscles, the fridge, the strong man of war games. Rob Oren takes a look at Crowbar, the Rangers at Point Zuck, a game designed by Dream Team designer Herman Lutman. Her productive games as unboxing Crowbar, the Rangers at Point Zuck, a game published by Flying Pig Games. Designed by Dream Team designer Herman Lutman! <music> Worthington Games and Volume 4 in the campaigns of the American Revolution series, Philadelphia 1777. And what you get with Philadelphia 1777 is a mounted map, 60 blue and red wooden blocks with labels, rules, a battle board for fighting your tactical battles, and dice. The game time, the campaign, takes about two hours or less. This is a two-player game, but still can be soloed, Worthington Games. DVG is kicking off a Kickstarter October 22nd with a cryptic video. The game, I think, or the system, is called Valkyrie, the next step in warfare. And talking about DVG, use this code. You get 25% off. Just use it. Next time you shop at DVG. Seriously. Johnny Zero podcast has episode 5, Moscow, 1941. Mauro. Also, Mauro takes a look in episode 7, Night Fighter Ace. GMT has a tutorial out on Vassal of Mike Bertuccelli's new game, Tank Duel, Enemy in the Crosshairs. 
Game Hole Con 7. When? October 31st to November 3rd. Where? In Madison, Wisconsin, at the Alien Energy Center. The San Marino Game Convention. 2020, the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of May, in the Palace Hotel San Marino. Where's San Marino? Well, it's in Italy. And what does it look like? Like this. Kansas City War Game Festival. It's called Historic Kansas City or Historic KC Fest in Kansas City. Overland Park Convention Center, June 26th to the 28th in the year 2020. The San Diego Historical Game Convention, November 8th, 9th, and 10th, 2019. At the Handerly Hotel, 950 Hotel Circle North, San Diego, California. October 25th to October 27th at the Tabala Event Center, 7910 Newburgh Road in Rockford, Illinois. Compass Games, New Direction in Gaming. Compass Games Expo 2019 from November 8th to the 11th at the Red Line Hotel in Cromwell, Connecticut. Board Game Geek, BGG, Fall. 20 to 24th of November 2019 at the Hyatt Regency in Dallas, Texas. Another week, another show. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Harold Buchanan for sending me those t-shirts. Thanks, Harold. And thanks to my supporters. Please support this channel. Subscribe, like, send me a t-shirt. And um, I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. man as solid as a fridge the strong man of war games rob orn takes a look at one designer dream team designer here we go again